r slash ask credit. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever done in your life? NSFW. I was a caretaker for mentally challenged people for a while. Once we suspected that this guy had eaten a rubber glove and to be sure we had to give him an enema to see if it's something came out. People who are severely handicapped and stuck in a wheelchair don't have bowel movements that often. Sometimes they can go close to a week before things start moving. That was the case with this guy. He hadn't taken a hit for like 5 days before this. He was given the enema in the bathroom and a few minutes later gave birth to a beanbag chair sized turd on the floor. I then went to the kitchen and got a fork which I used to mince up the hit like I was portioning out a humongous sloppy joe. The glove wasn't there. I didn't eat for like 3 days after that. Oh my god. You needed the poop knife. This is the third reference to poop knife on this post. Am I missing something or is this really a thing? I'm afraid to look. Ate a tub of ice cream between me and a guy who had potential. He kissed me after and things escalated. About 10 minutes later he's ducking my throat with reckless abandon when he decides to see how long he can hold me down on it for. Cue the return of the ice cream. He said it was still really cold when it came back up. And his peen looked like a ducked up mini milk. Edit. Apparently I should clarify. No he was not an asshole. I was into it right up to the point where I had to apologize for the mess. Go on. There's not much more to it. Turns out being covered in cold milky vomit was somewhat of a boner killer. I was sneezing like crazy and didn't know why. I tried biritin and it did nothing. I didn't feel unwell either so just rolled with it. A couple of days later I was round a friend's house and really sneezed hard and a little curly noodle came out of my nose. I pulled on it slowly and it slid out all wiggly which set off my gag reflex. I just managed not to puke on my friend's floor, but I wanted to. It measured about 5 inches stretched out. It was from Chinese food I ate 4 days prior. But why did you have a noodle in your nose? I think it must have been trapped in my sinus or something. Maybe I coughed or sneezed whilst eating them, and it found its way up there? I had to manually remove a giant turd that wouldn't come all the way out and was stuck about a quarter of the way. After struggling for half an hour, I finally just reached up there and started coaxing it out with my fingers. The feeling of relief was indescribable but was overshadowed by the fact that I felt strangely violated in some way. It was the consistency of modeling clay only maybe a little harder. It ended up looking like petrified wood. I had to break it up so it would flush. I actually thought about taking it out of the toilet and throwing it in the trash at one point. Don't do opiates. Kids. This could have been made easier through the use of a good poop knife. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Anonymous poop knife aficionado. So glad the poop knife has grown in popularity. I got the Neuroborus. Came down with it during a trip to Ikea. Made it home. But ended up with an immediate need to throw up and have violent diarrhea at the same time. I ended up on the toilet with a plastic bag in my lap for me to bath in. But the bag had a couple tiny holes in it. So it ended up with little streams of puke going in two directions. Added bonus after everything subsided. I blew my nose and half an Ikea meatball came flying out. Okay that's rough. Are you happy you asked? <laughs> Wasn't me who did it. But my one year old daughter ate the scabby stub of my newborn son's umbilical cord. No. Always been wondering when she's going to turn into a cannibal and eat one of us in our sleep. <laughs> Not intentionally. But this is how it went. Baby me is usually fussy. Mom leaves me in crib for a while. Wonders why I'm unusually quiet. Goes in to check on me. Baby me is busy eating own poop. Oh. Boy. I can actually beat this. My little brother is 8 years younger than me. We had to drag him to a large dinner when he was about a year old. The restaurant is mid fancy. We are a tiny bit dressed up. And it's packed. We are seated. With place drink and appetizer orders. And my other brother. Only a year younger than me. Will not stop complaining about how hungry he is. The adults are shushing him repeatedly. Tensions are high. Suddenly. He wails. It's no fair. Why does Scott already get to eat? We all turn to look at Scott. He is going to town on something in his hand. His other hand is buried in his diaper. My mom shrieks and oh 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 oh. Snatches him from his high chair. 
and sprints into the bathroom. After a moment of stunned silence, my brother pukes a stream of bile into the middle of the table. We, uh, didn't stick around to order entrees. Years later, my father informed me that a restaurant employee also puked only into his hands and running top speed toward the kitchen. Poor guy. I hope you remind your little brother of this story whenever you go out to eat. When I was in the army my unit left for a few weeks for some training. When we returned we saw a wasp nest up by our company area. So naturally we knocked it down and threw it into the grass behind the building. Next day after PT we find the nest in the grass. Has a bunch of dew from the night before on it. And no wasps. Because we're a bunch of stupid grunts. It immediately became a bidding war to get another one of our guys. Who's to eat it. Which eventually he agrees for the price of $40. Pops it into his mouth. Chews for maybe a minute and pops a few larvae still inside and immediately throws it back up. Right into my hand. Without missing a beat I hear my squad leader shout out now you eat it. Assert your dominance over him. And that's how I earned $40. A half runk Dr. Pepper. And dominance over my entire company who watched me eat that half chewed and vomited wasp nest. It's also how I can guarantee my fiance won't kiss me for a few hours. Because she hates that story. Grunts are stupid. It's in our nature to do stupid things. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Slash you slash I am for the go. Now I when I tell the story I can add and I also got some reddit gold too. The reward got sweeter. Based on my experience, being in an infantry company this probably wasn't even the dumbest thing done that week. Not even remotely. My mother tells me she came into the bathroom to see how I was doing. I had taken a hit in the tub and played with the turd. She asked me what I was doing and I said I was playing with a pirate ship. Okay it's not actually the grossest I've done, but it's a neat image. Even ho. Pirate ship or pirate hit. Depends on the ass. Non XL. My ex wife was sick. With horrible rolling around on the ground stomach cramps. My ex was not a person that could make herself throw up on command. So. We got her hunched over the toilet and I jammed two fingers down her throat. Instant gushing of a full stomach onto my hand into the toilet. Worth it. As she felt so much better. XL. Not really my fault, but pretty disturbing to me at the time. Had just finished Nalex with my girlfriend. She had run off to the bathroom to evacuate, as I had finished in her. While she is in the bathroom, I'm laying on the bed, enjoying the afterglow. Eyes closed. Suddenly I feel an intense discomfort on my member. She had a new kitten that was light enough to jump on the bed without me noticing. For whatever reason, the kitten decided I needed cleaning in that area. You know how cats' tongues are like sandpaper? And guys are really sensitive right after? So suddenly I'm in the shower and my girlfriend is running around trying to catch her kitten, so she can clean his mouth out. You didn't watch her fart out the load into a champagne glass while furiously pounding your semi-flaccid member? That's the second best part. This is exactly something I look for when watching porn. But I don't think I would enjoy it in real life. I had food poisoning. I had just hid myself while eating Greek feast. It wasn't bad. So I went to finish my breakfast before it got cold. I was thus eating breakfast naked since my underwear had been hit in. I had an uncontrolled diarrhea squirt shoot out and run down my leg onto the floor. It was yellowish brown and pure liquid. My wife was horrified. If you just had uncontrollable diarrhea why would you then walk around naked? To avoid making more laundry. Duh. Eight toilet paper off a road. I was keen on bears and doing stupid stuff to get attention when I was 15. Did you at least get money for it? Nope. I never got paid for those things. Should probably use a throwaway but duck it. I dip. And usually I have a styrofoam cup filled with a paper towel to spit into. And one filled with water to drink from. Now you may think you know where this is going, but stick with me. I keep the two cups on opposite sides of my desk. And one day I got to doing what guys normally do. A la masturbation. When I finished I figured it would be easy to just put my remnants into the dip cup. Which I didn't plan to use anymore. And was going to promptly throw away. Before I had the chance though I started playing Rocket League. Mid Rocket League game I went to take a drink of water. 
instinctively swallowed, and came to the all too sudden and dark realization that I had just swallowed a mouthful of skeet and dip spit. I vomited on my floor almost immediately and spent the next hour in the bathroom trying to cleanse myself of my past. That is by far the most disgusting thing I've ever done. Aside from mere bonging a rear I threw up. BTW Scotty if you see this don't think less of me friend. That is horrifying. I hope you learned from this. Let's just say now I'm very very careful what cups I do and do not drink from. The short version is that I was severely constipated and had diarrhea behind the hard stool. Once my bowels were evacuated and I had wiped. I lost balance on my weakened legs and caught myself by plowing my hand right into the bowl of a rundown gas station toilet. Don't eat MREs for a week while camping then cook and eat fish from a questionable creek on the last day. I had to trim all of my fingernails to the meat to get it smell off of my fingers. Ducking like and subscribe.